Okay, my friends, let's do the same thing now, but we're going to do what's called monthly compounding. Did I spell all that right? I think I did. Okay, we're going to do the same kind of mail. <laughs> I called it a mail merge again. Same kind of merge and center. Bold, italicize, increase the font size, make a match. All right, so. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going it's going we're going to repeat the exact same thing we did with annual compounding except the difference is with monthly compounding you may have guessed it it doesn't compound every year it compounds every month so what we're going to do is we're going to start by having month and also amount in account but what i want to do is i got to figure out how many months are in 10 years so let's see there's 12 months a year so that's 120 months so i'm going to go zero one two and then i'm going to drag this puppy dog all the way down until i get to 120 and it happened pretty quickly so i need to back it up a little bit yeah this this spreadsheet's going to start looking very diagonal um because we're going to be adding so much time uh as we go forward okay so 120 months that's going to get us the same length of time as 10 years now the amount in the account is going to start with a hundred bucks, just like it did before. Okay, I'm going to format this as a dollar amount. Okay. Now here's the here's the catch. This is the part that you have to kind of understand about any kind of compounding other than annual. We're going to still use two percent, two percent compounded monthly, but you're not going to get the full two percent every month. That would be nice, <laughs> but that's not how banks work. In order to adjust the 2% for monthly compounds, you take the 2% and you divide it into 12 equal pieces. And that's the percentage you get each month. Okay, take 2%, divide it into 12 equal pieces, and that's the interest you get added every month. Now, as you can see, that number 0.1666666%. So rather than Try to type that mess there. Here's, I'm going to use a formula instead. Here's, check this out. See if you like this. Over here in the previous tab, I simply called 1.02. I'm going to write this as 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 12 times the previous amount. Now, in case you're wondering, I'm going to take one quick aside here. If you look at what 1 plus 0 0.02 divided by 12 is, you're going to recognize this number, right? There's that 0 0.01666666. Lots of sixes. They go on forever. Okay? But rather than typing them all out, because no matter how many you type, you're not going to have enough because they're infinite, it's easier just to write it as a function or a formula here. And I'm going to copy that all the way down. And if you look all the way at the bottom, that means... $122.12. I'm going to make a note of the cell G127. I'm going to come up here, type that in here, merge it, put a little bit of a background on it, bold it, make the font size bigger so it matches the other one. And now we can look at the annual compounding and the monthly compounding. And we can see that the monthly compounding did a little tiny bit better than the annual compounding. We'll come back to that at the end of this quiz. And so now in the remaining parts of the quiz, what you're going to do is you're going to do a weekly compounding and a daily compounding. And what you're going to have, part of the fun of this is figuring out how to adjust that interest rate. Here, I'm going to, I'm going to bold underline these, bold underline before I, if I start talking while I'm typing, I'm guaranteed to screw at least a few things up. <laughs> so you're going to have to kind of create tables in the exact same way. Uh, weeks, you have to figure out how many weeks are going to make up 10 years, although I think I tell you that in the quiz. And then you're going to have to figure out how many days make up 10 years. And I tell you in the quiz to ignore leap years. So these, these tables are going to get pretty long. This one's 120 cells long. This one's going to be over 500 and this one's going to be a couple thousand. And that's why I think it's nice to have these cells up here with the uh, end results in them so you can compare. Then I'm going to have you take a screenshot of that at the end so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so have fun with that and then you can answer number three and then you can keep going.